Hello everyone, all the parents, good morning and here I am Dr. Sonia S. Kanitkar with another lesson of my uh, Parenting Teens with Love. This is not only for parents but also for all teenagers who can see this uh, free education program and they can learn from it. So today I am going to teach the life skill called effective com communication. Now it has two parts, effective and communication. So there can be communication in many ways but the effectivity of the communication varies and that's why it is important to learn how to communicate in a useful manner. So let's move on uh, everyone. Let's go ahead. First let us see what is the definition of communication. It is a two-way process of sending and receiving information and being able to do this simple exchange is not easy it is not natural we all have to learn it and from childhood as we see our parents talking as we see other people talking as we see other modes of communication we keep learning it's a it's a continuous process of communication now let us uh, move on now today it is information age so we have to understand that communication in earlier days was only talking you know, we used to just talk on the phone or we used to just talk uh, uh, when we were present face to face and communication has changed drastically right now. It is not only sitting and talking. It is not only talking on the phone. It is various ways, social media. Then there is uh, video chats. There is WhatsApp. There are chat rooms. There is so many ways of communication. The uh, TV is there and there is radio. There are so many modes of communication which have changed the entire scenario of communication and that's why it has uh, the whole uh, skill has changed now. So most important thing I just want to tell because this is a short video and I want you to uh, fully you know learn it in a very small 5 to 10 minutes video. So I want to tell you when you are communicating what is the most important thing? It is mostly body language. How you uh, sit how you put your hands, where you put your hands, what are the expression on your face, how is your uh, uh, forehead, is there any frowning and uh, what is the movement of your eyes, your movement of your hands and if you sit like this that means you are a very haughty person but if you sit with your arms, uh, with your uh, hands on the le uh, you know legs then you are a little like a gentle person. So all this matters a lot, this is 55% part of communication is by body language then second is verbal language verbal means words how you present the words what are what is the modulation of your voice what is the tone of your voice what words you are using and how you are putting your emotions how you are pausing while talking all this matters and then comes seven percent of words so that is only seven percent the words that you say they are only 7% communicating. They only help you in communicating only 7% part. Rest is already communicated by your voice and by your body. So please do not give much importance to words. You can still be a good communicator even if you are not good at any uh, one of the languages. So let's move on. Let us see how the scenario of communication has changed. So Communication on phone, video chat, communication on social media, communication through SMSs, through other messages, other modes of messages. Is it complete? We have to understand. Let us see communication on phone. It is only by words. Only 75% of words are actually understood. It is a well-known fact that whatever words we speak, only 75% of those words are actually and clearly listened to by the other person. Many games have been played by whispering and all those things and you all know this is true. You cannot see the body language in a phone. Lying and emotional ch uh, changes, they cannot be depend, uh, you know, detected when you are talking on the phone. Seriousness of the conversation cannot be gauged. Whether that person is actually serious or that per person is laughing and then telling you oh, I'm, my condolences. You know, so, so this is very important that on the phone the real matter gets lost. The real person can be faked, right? Next, what about communication on social media? Any false picture can be displayed anywhere. 
filters are there all the time in all the pictures you can put any kind of filters to change your facial contours to to, to change your skin uh, contours to change your skin smoothness anything can be done editing of a real pic can also be done falsification of messages notices even the pdfs can be edited and it is uh, very difficult to know whether the real news is true life behind the message lies behind the messages cannot be detected the real person behind the Facebook profile, query, 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 we don't know. The people can put some other image on the uh, Facebook or on any other um, social media and we feel that that is the you know, very nice person that looks to be a very beautiful lady. But what is behind the profile, we do not know the reality. The real family circumstances can be, uh, uh, can be very much different uh, when the collage is put that the family is going for a holiday, the family is enjoying a dinner, the family is having a, uh, you know, in a hotel, they're even going and having, uh, you know, holidays abroad. But do you know, actually, they have gone abroad? Or is it a photo shop done in a studio? So these are the important things today we have to keep in our minds when we are communicating with the other people. So this communication on social media, the real world can be mispresented remember this not only for parents but adolescents i want to say please do not get misguided by images on social media or phone next we come to communication through messages phone and chat words are misunderstood as i have already told that only 25 percent of your words can matter on the phone then emojis can be interpreted in various ways emotions can be underestimated or they can be misunderstood when you are talking on the phone, even on video chats. Even on video chats, actually, when you are talking, the words, you know, the internet speed and all those things, they matter. Your, uh, your voice may not be totally uh, presented in a very faithful way. You know, your expressions are not true. They are not transmitted fully as you are uh, talking, right? So, real meaning of the messages does not reach the right destination. It can be, you know, seen by privacy is a big issue here. And it can lead to misunderstandings. It can even lead to broken relationships. You know, messages on the phone and all have actually led to divorces. So, manipulations can be there by others. Whether they are holding your hand, uh, your mo mobile phone and sending messages as per their wish. So, it can cause a lot of misunderstanding and manipulations. So, the real meaning is lost even in this kind of communication. So what am I trying to say here? So what is actually communication which is effective and useful? Here it is, guys. This is the most important slide which you need to understand in order to have effective, useful communication. You must sit or stand together in comfort, that is face to face. Make eye contact, very important. Because when you look eye to eye, you can see the changes, the, the changes in the heart rate. You can, you know, see what that person is feeling. The person, if he is guilty, he will not see eye to eye. You know, there are changes. Orienting towards the speaker. You should be totally looking at the speaker, his body language. Everything should be noticed. Listen to the words, not only hear. That means the other person is talking. The words are falling on your ears. They are going to your brain, but the brain is not interpreting. That is called hearing. But if you are actually listening, if you are actually letting the words from your ears go to the brain and then the brain neurons are interpreting them, that is called listening. So that is very important. You have to listen and not only hear. Then you have to nod the head so that you get uh, to be understood also. So it's a two-way communication. It's a two-way uh, talking. Not only that you are understanding that person, but when you give a message, oh, acha, this happened, I see, okay, after that, what happened? That shows your interest. That shows that you are, uh, you know, understanding the other person and that interest of the other person also gets satisfied. Then body language, as I've already told, you have to be very careful. Then ask someone to repeat. If suppose you are not able to understand the other person, you can ask them to re uh, repeat. But on the phone, but on the chats and other places, it is become it becomes difficult. On the you know WhatsApp chats when you are writing and all, getting repeated that message and all, 
makes a little bit of a, a difficult uh, task. So face to face when you talk, it becomes the actual communication. Remove all distractions like TV, mobile, music, etc. If you really want to communicate something serious or something which is important for your life as well as the other person's life, then the whole conversation should be done without any distraction, especially mobile. If suppose your mobile rings, don't pick it up. You can always call them back later, right? So prioritize this conversation to any other distraction, right? Be in the conversation mindfully and not with mindful. Please try to understand this sentence. So when I am busy in work, my mind is full of lot of questions, full of trouble, full of tension. That time I cannot have a proper communication with another person. That time I should not converse or communicate any important thing. At that time, I should just concentrate on the work. But once you have finished the work, then switch off. Switch off all your tensions of work. And then with the family, you can communicate in a better way. You can talk to them with your mindfulness. That means your mind is totally with them. This brain is without any tensions, any troubles, any office things. That is what is called mindfulness. Lastly, but not the least, whenever you are talking to a new person or even to your family members or even to your children or even to your adolescents or anybody else, don't judge and keep your views open and accept change. Very, very important. So, this is how you learn to communicate. If you follow these things, then any communication which you do sitting face to face will be effective. As right now, I am sitting and talking to you on a, a video. It may not be that effective because I am not face to face. You are able to see some body language but not full body language. You are able to hear the words what I am saying but you are maybe interpreting in a different way. So you have to concentrate and listen, not hear. This is very important. So why do we need to communicate? Of course, we know that we are social animals. We need to convey our needs. We, From childhood itself, we start communicating to the mother, I am hungry. And the child will show like this, I am hungry, I am hungry, like that. You see, communication starts from day one. And when the, when the newborn is there and the newborn feels hungry, it cries. That's the only way to communicate to the mother that I am hungry. You see, we need to show our feelings. We need to cry. A child cries. A teenager cries. Anybody, if they have some sad thing, they will cry. If you are happy, you smile. So we need to understand other humans by communication. If there is a problem with somebody, we need to understand their problems. Also, if a problem is there with me, I need to uh, show to others. I need to get that understanding. We need to know about the rest of the world. That is the news. COVID it is affecting everybody. We have to know. We have to communicate for, to the whole world. We need relationships with other humans. Very important for our survival. We have to have relationships. Until unless we communicate, how will we make relationships like friends, like relatives, husband and wife, lovers, these relationships, they all need effective communication. So all parents here, all teenagers here, please remember, falling in love cannot happen without proper communication. We need to cope with problems. So solving a problem also needs communication. I have already told in one of my videos, problem solving videos, how important is communication there also. And last but not the least, we need to live. Surviving is different. If we want to live happily, then communication is a very important part of us. So let us live happily and let others live happily also. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope I have not made a very long video. You must see it completely. And if you like it, please like the video and please share it with one or two other people. Share this video as much as possible so that many people will get the advantage. It's a free program. I will be putting more and more videos about life skills soon. And uh, you please take advantage freely.